How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you with this new video on 10 fastest Demon Slayer characters. Demons and Slayers alike do not just rely on strength but also on speed, agility and battle experience in order to survive against their opponent which some characters are faster than the eye can follow. Tanjiro Hamado relies on smell more than speed or strength. Tanjiro's speed may not be as fast as the other characters such as Zenitsu or Kyojiro Ren Goku, but that doesn't mean he's a total slowpoke because what he lacks in speed he makes it up with his brain to think outside the box in a battle. Tanjiro has adequate speed and agility to fight a variety of demonic enemies from Susamaru to Emu and beyond. Tanjiro's speed is only mid curve compared to most other major characters. but he has an advantage they don't by using his nose to find the thread connecting him to his foe and strike at the exact right moment. With that advantage, he doesn't need exceptional speed. Nezuko Kamado Nezuko was turned into a demon against her will and while she travels with her brother Ch Tanjiro Kamado in search of a cure to regain her humanity, she can at least make use of her demonic powers in the meantime. Nezuko sometimes fights alongside her brother and despite not receiving any training, she is an exceptional fighter. In a combat, Nezuko tends to run and kick and she can even take a demonic head off with her forensic kicks. She can also use her claws to slash at her foes and use fire-based moves. Now for some particular reason, uh, for someone who haven't read the manga, I predict that she might master how to use Hinokami Kagura before Tanjiro does. She is fairly quick, but other Demon Slayer characters are definitely faster than her, in my perspective. Inosuke Hashibira Inosuke was raised by animals in the mountain wilderness and he learned from them. He has razor sharp instincts and heightened senses which makes him highly effective in ways his friend and foes alike doesn't expect. He also has two nurturing swords to slash any foe to bits. Also, Inosuke Taijutsu is one of the best Taijutsu in this era. No offense, Rock Lee. Kanayo Tsusuri Kanayo may be a quiet and gentle girl, but she is far from defenseless. In fact, she is among the quickest characters in the series so far and she is fully trained as a demon slayer. Kanayo is a member of the butterfly estate. Kanayo generously helped train Tanjiro and his friends after the battle against Ryu, the spider demon and she was much quicker than Tanjiro was prepared for. For a time, she stayed one pace ahead of Tanjiro and practically made a fool of him and his friends. Zenetsu Agatsuma 
Zenitsu is widely known for his cowardly persona and his constant complaints before or during battle, but he's not totally a dead weight. During his adventure, he's not totally a dead weight during his adventure with Tanjiro. Under the right circumstances, Zenitsu is actually a lightning fast swordman. And that's no coincidence. True to his thunder breathing element, Zenitsu can move like a flash of lightning, especially when fighting for his or when protecting his friends. Zenitsu has used his ultra speed a few more times since then and I don't think Tanjiro can match it. Now this is my perspective someone who is basing my commentary on a few research and the uh, and on anime I totally believe that if Tanjiro and uh, Zenitsu we're about to go toe to toe. I don't think that Tanjiro can match Zenitsu's speed. That is just my perspective. Giyu Tomioka. So far in the Demon Slayer anime, the fastest characters are all either upper demons or members of the elite Hashira Corps, and that includes the water Hashira. Now, although we don't see much of Giyu in the series, but he's certainly faster than Tanjiro and Inosuke. Giyu can move in the blink of an eye and deliver deadly sword strikes to take down a demon before that demon even knows what is happening. Giyu also demonstrated his speed early in the series against Kamados. Kyojiro Rengoku The Flame Hashira Kyojiro Rengoku even faster than Gayu or Giyu and he demonstrated this during the Mugen Train story arc while fighting a variety of demons Kyojiro is a bold speedy and aggressive fighter true to his elemental breeding and he shows no mercy to demons. We'll also like to, I will also like to add that he has a great personality. Kyojiro got serious when he faced off against the upper three Akaza and moved quicker than Tanjiro could even see. In Tanjiro's eyes, Kyojiro Rengoku was just a series of flaming blurs and only an upper moon would stand a chance against such technique. Akaza was a major antagonist of the Mugen Train arc and we might see him again later on in the show to challenge Tanjiro Kamado because I don't think Akaza has forgotten what Tanjiro did to him so Tanjiro had better be prepared and ready because Akaza is very, very powerful, even more powerful than any foe he has faced thus far. Akaza can also regenerate his flesh at astonishing speed. Akaza kept pace with Kyojiro Rengoku during their battle, which says a lot, and unlike humans, Akaza has limitless stamina not only is he fast but also won't slow down by getting fatigued in battle so he can eventually outpace a speedy human opponent who grows tired in their duel that's a major advantage if you ask me Despite her laid-back persona, Shinobu Kochi is actually an intense and focused demon slayer 
who doesn't tolerate anyone's nonsense for long. She is incredibly fast and no demon can keep track of her movements in battle. Shinobu can use her superior speed to avoid enemy attacks, then get into position to deliver a deadly counterattack with her poisoned Nuchirin blade and seal the deal which can win her the battle over the upper moon demons. Tengen Uzi may or may not be the most powerful Hashira overall, but he is certainly the quickest of them. Although we are yet to see him in a ferocious battle against the upper demons, I would say he is no pushover. When Tengen gets serious, he can simply teleport arriving at his destination in a flash. I don't think anyone can keep up with an elite swordman like Tengen. He is currently the star of the new entertainment district story arc and his odds of survival looks good thus far. No way can the demon Deki keep up with this warrior. That is simply my speculation. Alright guys, there you have it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification, push your thoughts and let me know what you think, share the video. I will do my best to make videos like this in the coming future. On that note, stay safe, keep on keeping up.